Brightly colored landscapes and scenes of modern life are what Impressionists are known for, but there's more to it than looking at it from a distance. Let's take a look at the relationship between technology and their technique. There's a reason why the Impressionists were able to emerge at this point. For a long time, people considered the best art to be academic style painting. And in France, this meant art was subjected to the standards of the French Academy de Beaux Arts. However, a group of radical painters, including Monet, Renoir, Pissarro, and Degas, rejected their definition. Rather than recreating historical or mythological scenes, these artists were interested in the modern age. These artists were unconventional and unaccepted by the academy. They pushed limits when they set up independent shows outside of the academy or the salon. Amidst industrialization and urbanization of France, these artists were inspired by the new world in front of them. While traditionally oil paints were made in small batches in the studio, oil paints were now pre-made and packaged in tubes. Along with the development of a compact and portable easel, artists were now able to work outdoors and paint en plein air. So we begin to see more smaller oil paintings that were done outdoors and done very quickly to capture the changing environment. Their rapidly applied brush strokes are often visible. In addition, they often painted a more open composition, which which implied an existing world beyond the edge of the canvas. The Impressionists painted ordinary things around them. So common subjects were urban and rural landscape, but also figures, especially recognizable acquaintances of the artist. They were real people, places, and things from their lives. With the discovery of elements like cadmium and chromium, extremely bright colors never before seen were becoming more readily available. Modern chemistry allowed for a huge range of colors, and color theory played an integral role in the Impressionists' work. Rather than using lines and contours to create shapes, the Impressionists utilized their knowledge of color theory to create objects that project or recede to create a sense of space and dimension. Perhaps the most crucial desire of the Impressionists were to paint as the human eye sees, and the rise of the camera drastically influenced people's perspective of vision and how it works. We might take it for granted today, but for the first time people were able to see what a frozen point in time looks like. I mentioned earlier that artists work quickly because outdoor conditions change very quickly compared to a controlled studio setting. But they may have also aimed to create an impression of a scene which, much like a camera, fixates on one moment in time. However, rather than an instant, an impressionist painting has more movement. For the impressionists, movement was a crucial element of human perception. While the impressionists were fascinated and inspired by technology, it's also important to point out that they were determined to make paintings that were clearly paintings. They didn't hide the fact that there was dabs of paint on the canvas, and in fact, they made them very visible. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new format of technology and technique. Um, if you have any other artists that you would like for me to cover, let me know in the comments section below. And please check out some of my other videos and subscribe for future ones. I'll see you next time.